In other news, a Melbourne doctor says he has no regrets despite a police grilling over a journalist's death. The euthanasia campaigner has been questioned over the cancer victim's apparent suicide three years ago. Dr Rodney Syme arrives to tell police he did not incite patient Steve Guest to take his own life. It was quite clear to me because of the extreme psychic anguish that he had amongst many other things that it would only be relieved by giving him control over the end of his life. And so I gave him advice and medication which would give him that. Mr Guest was slipping towards a painful death from cancer of the oesophagus in 2005. I can't eat, I can't do anything, I'm as weak as a kitten. I can't even hang washing on the line. And I want my life to end. The journalist's plight touched hearts with his talkback plea. I want a pill in the cupboard that I can reach for and take it and end this nightmare that I'm living at the moment. He overdosed from barbiturates, but not before thanking his doctor. He gave me advice that was sound and full of wisdom. Dr Syme admits he answered Mr Guest's questions about barbiturates, but says he didn't act outside the law. He and his supporters suspect Dr Syme's book on the euthanasia debate sparked the police complaint. Dying with Dignity wants the Victorian government to refer the 20-year-old Medical Treatment Act to the Law Reform Commission, describing the current law as ambiguous and muddy. And just as it has for abortion, which has equally high support in the community. Martine Griffiths, 10 News.